Hi guys, so today I'm filming this intro a little weird because my camera has died already and I just charged it up just for this intro and outro. Today I filmed a chit chat get ready with me kind of, I don't know what to call this video. Monochromatic yellow eyeshadow look I guess. Um, I've been seeing this trend go around Instagram a lot. Um, people have always told me that I also look very good in yellows and like golds on my eyes. So here I am doing that for you guys. So if you want to see how I achieved this whole look, this eye look especially, then please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. For time's sake and for the sake of my battery life, I decided not to do my brows on camera. I'm just finishing up by cleaning over the top of them. Today's just gonna be a get ready with me chit chat type of video or whatever. Um, because I feel like I haven't been on YouTube in a long time. And right now I'm just taking some Tarte Shape Tape to clean up my brows. I don't know if I already said that. And I used some Dip Brow Pomade by Anastasia in the shade Chocolate. Just really trying to resharpen this brow. Cause I don't think it's that sharp. I'm trying to make them the same thickness too, but I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. Anyways, so yeah. I've been having a good summer. I got out of summer school on the 28th. It was my last day. I'm gonna be using the Morphe 35B today for this look, specifically these colors, I think, and maybe the white or something, I don't know. But I'm not too sure if this is true or not, but I think they discontinued that palette, and if they did and you wanted to do this look, you can use any yellow eyeshadow like from BH Cosmetics, whatever you want to use. But if you have it, pull it out. Let's do this. Um, I don't know why I decided to do this actually, but a lot of people have told me that yellow looks good on me. I don't know what it is, but we'll have to see if that's true. So, we're going to be using that palette and I heard this look is supposed to be very easy so we'll see about that too okay so I'm gonna be taking the P Louise eyeshadow base in shade number two to prime my eyelids um, I know a lot of people use like Tarte Shape Tape or just a concealer to do their to use as a primer but my eyelids are very oily and so far this is the only primer I've ever tried that doesn't make me crease. I don't know what it is. It's really good though. So, um, yeah, we're just going to go in with that. So first you just want to pick up that shade. Really pack it on your lid. Create the desired shape you want. begin to blend I'm gonna actually zoom you guys in so you guys can see a lot better so yeah wow look at me stepping out of my comfort zone who am I I'm just sealing it up I don't know when to stop that's my problem like when is too much yellow I made no sense. When is there too much yellow on your lid, like, for this look? I don't know. You probably have to use the whole eyeshadow pot. I don't know. So, yeah, we're just going to keep going until we end up looking like a lemon. So, now I'm going to be taking my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. just a black shade and we're gonna line here I'm just gonna apply it we're gonna create a wing I 
Oh God. Oh, fix it, Jesus. Okay. Okay, I think we're we're going somewhere with the finder. <sighs> okay. Wow, this looks like shit. My yellow eyeshadow went high enough so I'm gonna go back in and bring it up just a tiny bit up just to really make it you know make an appearance or whatever I'm ready for the liner. All right, so for my lashes for today's look, I'm gonna be using these by Bombshell Cosmetica on Instagram. These are the Coco lashes from their dream set. This company has really beautiful lashes and you can use my code ALVAREZXO at checkout to save some money on your purchase. Perfect. I love this. We love her. We love us some cocoa. Look at that. Oh my god. Gorgeous. Alright, I'm going to do the same to the other eye and I'll come right back. But just a tiny little drop to kind of make my face a little more moisturized and replenished. Give that a tiny bit on my forehead. You don't need a lot of this stuff, especially if you are oily like me. For foundation, I'm gonna be mixing them. Um, I'm gonna be taking Fenty Beauty in the shade 330 and LA Girl Pro Coverage in the shade Nude Beige. I love this combo. It doesn't look like there's a much of a difference, but this one's a lot more yellow and looks orangey. At the same time, okay, so for concealer, I'm just going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Medium. I started using this a while back because um, I was like, is it really worth it? And I've tried it and I haven't gone back to anything else. I'll just leave it at that. Or if you're like an everyday um, wearer of makeup, like, and you don't like it to be extra heavy, then this might not be the concealer for you, um, because it is very thick, it's very creamy, but it is not for everyone and no one tells you that, but, you know, I will tell you, it's pretty high coverage, so that means that you're going to get a thicker consistency I don't mind it because I love something that can cover everything you know my past my present my future <laughs> but you know there's a lot of people who look for something with buildable coverage so I don't like the taste of those powders Go in with the remainder of the powder and not pick anything up and just set the rest of my face with it. I know this may be incorrect, but you know, whatever, it's my channel, not yours. Let me do my makeup how I want to do it.
All right, so before my camera dies, um, I went ahead and added some lipstick. This one's by The Dose of Colors in the shade Cork. I used the Bretman Rock Highlighting Palette for a highlighter. This is the completed look. Um, it's nothing too crazy. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you leave. Tap on the notification bell to see when I post. And yeah, so this hair looks very crazy because I'm not going anywhere. And I'm just going to wash this makeup off right now as soon as I can. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and sticking around. I hope this video was entertaining. It was kind of helpful. And we got through it, you know? I'm not too mad at this look. I actually really like it. And feel free to follow my Instagram at lilalv underscore, my Twitter at lilalv underscore, my Snapchat at lilianaalvarez9, just so you can keep in touch with me and see what I'm always up to. I'm becoming a little more active on my Instagram now. I used to not really care about it, but I actually post all my makeup looks there. So you'll most likely get a preview of whatever look I'm planning to film or have filmed there. So yeah.